the certificate of eligibility. How do you secure it? And why does it even matter? So you're finally ready to take advantage of one of the biggest benefits that we have as a veteran, which is the VA loan. And you're not sure about how to go about it, but you know you heard of something called a certificate of eligibility. Why does that matter? Why is it important? And why can't you get a VA loan without it? We're gonna talk about that in this video. We're just gonna start out with a certificate of eligibility and what the actual requirement is for that and why you have to have it before, ideally before you go under contract for a home. Now, how many times can you use the VA loan? This is a great question that I get. Let's start there because there are no limitations to this. You can use the VA loan as many times as you want. There are no limitations as to how many times you can use it. The only limitation is to how many homes you can have at the same time, essentially with a VA loan. Now, I often get clients that are relocating from other states. I am in Texas, so I get a lot of people that are relocating from other places to Texas. Maybe they have a VA loan on their current home and they wanna purchase a new home in Texas with the same loan. Well, there is a way to do it. I won't go into a whole lot of detail on this specific video, but there is a way for you to have more than one VA loan at the same time. There's some other things that have to be in place, but for most people, you are going to use your VA loan, typically sell that home whenever the time permits, and then you're going to get your entitlement restored, meaning you have a 100% full entitlement, and then you can go purchase another home. That's typically what most people do. Again, there are ways to be able to get more than one home with a VA loan. Uh, now, there are some other things that come along with that if you decide to go that direction. Just hit me up if you got a question about that. The COE is a formal document that proves to lenders that you actually are eligible for a VA home loan. It actually substantiates your service history, the length, your status, and whether or not you were honorably discharged from the military. That is key because if you were dishonorably discharged, you are not going to get a certificate of eligibility for a VA home loan. So it's essential that you get the COE before you do anything. And if your lender lets you go out looking for a home and they have not gotten your certificate of eligibility, fire them. All right. I mean that. And I'm not for people getting fired, but this makes no sense for any lender to have a veteran go looking for a home and they have not received your COE. It is not that difficult to get. Make sure you get it before you go searching for a home. Great question. So let's say you decide to go out and get a home and you have not gotten your COE. Let's start with just loan delay or straight up denial. So without the COE, the lender cannot verify your eligibility for the VA home loan. So this can lead to delays in the loan approval process or even outright denial if your eligibility can't be confirmed. Guys, this is super important. Don't go looking for a house without the COE. Second thing, financial strain. What do I mean by financial strain? Well, if for some reason you can't qualify for the VA, just say you go out looking for a home. COE has not come back yet. Now you're under contract. Now your COE comes back and you don't have enough eligibility or any eligibility to be able to purchase that home with no down payment. Now what? Well, now you may have to switch loan programs, which means now you have a down payment, right? Unless you're going with a USDA loan, every other loan product is gonna have a down payment. So now we're talking more money out of your pocket that you didn't intend on bringing at all because you simply did not have that COE. And quite honestly, guys, this is going to be on your lender, on your loan officer. They should be making sure you have this and not put you in a bad financial position. But essentially, your finances are gonna get strained if you would go under contract and then you find out that you actually can't even use the VA loan. Now you're trying to switch from VA over to FHA or maybe even a conventional loan, which could require more money, just depends on your situation, but this is super important. So the third thing that could happen is that you just straight up lose the home. Why? Because if that COE comes back and you can't get a VA loan, maybe you're coming up on a timeline for option period if you have one. In Texas, we have an option period. I know not every state has an option period, but we do. Maybe you're getting to a point where the closing date is coming closer and there's no way for you to switch 
from VA over to FHA or maybe a conventional loan or a USDA loan. You don't have the resources to be able to make that switch. Now you're stressed. Now the seller is getting antsy. Everybody's getting antsy because they don't know what's going on with your finances. Well, now you just may lose that home and maybe any money that you've already put into that home. Could be earnest money, could be inspection, could be a multiple of things that you've already invested into that home and now you can't get it because you don't have that COE and you don't have eligibility at all or not enough. So listen, the VA loan itself can be somewhat complex anyway. A lot of sellers are a little antsy when dealing with us as veterans and the VA specifically. We don't wanna give them any more ammunition about not having a COE and not having our stuff together, okay? This is very important. So again, it is not hard to get. You can get it on your own or you can get your lender to do it, but don't go looking for a home until you know you have eligibility because a lender can qualify you financially speaking, but if you don't have the COE and find out that you are eligible for that VA and the full entitlement, I cannot emphasize this enough, full entitlement, okay? I'm gonna do a video just on entitlement, but full entitlement meaning you have all 100% of your entitlement to be able to use to go purchase a home, okay? And all that really means is that the lender is being guaranteed a portion of the loan amount in case we as veterans default on the loan, okay? That is what that entitlement means. Essentially, it's guaranteeing to the lender a portion of the financing if the veteran defaults, which makes the lenders a lot more willing to lend if you don't have a great credit score, okay? Now, I understand, I've talked about this multiple times, the VA does not have a credit score requirement. The lender does, okay? So if you wanna find a lender like mine that does not have a credit score requirement, Hit me up, I'll be glad to help you. Now, you know this is just a portion of what you need to know, okay? This is just a piece of it. Go check out this next video over there. That is going to get you some additional information to help you be prepared to take advantage of that VA loan. I'll see you over there.